finished on this is like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Except for these. They pretend to be first. <laughs> Akil was on my panel, and I'm like, it's your fault they're acting this way. <laughs> they don't do this when it's just me. <laughs> Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I affirm section one's observations, saying this procedural interpretations and two definitions and cross FI would be the change back to the interpretancy violation of the survive for education because we can debate about the topic rather than theory, which is one helpful choice to be and also choose for various arguments because it helps you about side by speaking game with an untrue argument that can only be one be up with an argument which excuse more time. Or she gets given the answer without abuse on the flow because I will get rid of my fair arguments. Section two is framework. I value justice since questions rise required that we consider what is due to each person. Epistemology comes first in determining morality. One, we can't know as moral knowledge without knowing how to determine knowledge. Two, in the absence of an epistemic theory, we wouldn't have any verifiable moral knowledge to prove that epistemologically flawed criteria don't link to the value. And epistemic truth is derived from ongoing deliberation in a constructivist form of truth. Habermas. The truth claims to assertions can be treated hypothetically in evaluating life reasons they sent from action to discourse means that full, the full range of resources available for cognitively processing problems and practical coping with the world can be mobilized. The objective world is in connection with the relationship of the world <coughs> the inner subjectively share world, the object to be the world, and the inner subject to be communication referred to one another. This generates an obligation to reduce social domination. Young. Group representation encourages the expression of individual group needs and interests and turns that to justice once people tend to assert their perspectives as universal. When social privilege allows some group perspectives to dominate public while others are silent, such universalizing of the particular Will be reaffirmed by many others. Thus, the test of whether a claim upon the public is just a merely expression of self interest is best made when those making it must confront the opinion of others who have explicitly different than not necessarily conflicting experiences, priorities, and needs. Thus, achieving knowledge requires that we hear the perspective of marginalized groups. Bowell. Achieving knowledge begins when the standpoints begin to emerge, they emerge when those who are marginalized from the vantage point of the epistemically privileged become conscious of their social situation with respect to socio political power and oppression. The emergence of standpoints as a collective process occurring through the recognition and acknowledgement of others who occupy the same standpoint as oneself. Self definition provides a starting point for the self assertion of one's own identity, challenging identities imposed by conventional stereotypes that form part of the hegemonic ways of thinking from the point of view of the socially and politically dominant. This, this assertion of identity adds to a body of knowledge about how we experience the world. We have a time process whereby a standpoint merchants enables the occupant of that standpoint to gain an element of power and control over knowledge about, our, about their lives. In becoming occupants of the standpoint, they become known subjects in their own right rather than merely objects that are known by others. However, only through liberation of the oppressed by the oppressed can they truly re-enter the dialogue. Rarin. Because it is a distortion of being more fully human, being less human, leads the oppressed to struggle against those who made them the order of the struggle to have being the oppressed <coughs> resource of humanity of both, who are better prepared than the oppressed who understand the terrible significance of an oppressed society, who can better understand the necessity of liberation, who will this liberation through the practices of their quest for it, through the recognition of the necessity to fight for it in this fight because of the purpose given by the oppressed will actually constitute an act of love opposing the oppressor's violence. Thus, the standard is empowering the oppressed to resist dominant power structures. Section 3 is offense. I contend that the loss of control over personal information re-entrenches oppressive power structures. Loss of control over personal information deepens existing power imbalances and denies people control of their past. Mir Schomburger 1. Instead of information reciprocity, we may witness redistribution of information power from the powerless to the powerful. That often takes place without consent or knowledge from those from which power is taken. Such redistribution amplifies and just deepens existing power differentials between the information rich and the information poor, but its long term effect on how we conceive of our own past is equally troubling because we continuously reconstruct our own past in our memory. Over time, our own recollection of an interaction will become qualitatively inferior to the digitally stored, to a stored image, the information which possesses us, thus denying us our own past. This prevents the marginalized from defining their own identity, and the accessibility and durability of digital memory exacerbates power balances and promotes self-censorship. Mir Schomburger too. As others gain access to our information, especially when we do not prove or even know that we lose power because of the accessibility and durability of digital memory information, power not only shifts from individuals to some known party, but to unknown others as well. This deepens existing power differentials between the information which poor. It creates a climate of self-censorship through the perception of panoptic control that constrains robust and open debate the hallmarks of democratic government. This creates a chilling effect and a form of digital panopticon. Mir Schomburger 3. A shift in information of power has the potential to influence how humans behave information to be accessed for different reasons by others than the original recipient. If one does not know how one's utterances will be used and by whom, one must assume the worst that any criticism will end up where it will cause the most damage. The way to avoid exposure is not to criticize the solidify the power differentials between the survey and surveillance, much like in Bedlam's Panopticon. Because Stacey does not know whether her webpage is being watched by whom she should assume her supervisor does so all the time and behave accordingly. Information privacy rights allow individuals to regain control over the use of their personal information. Mir Schomburger 4. 
Information privacy is now seen as an individual's right to shape your participation in society in an interconnected world. The right to information privacy can no longer be understood as a binary right of consent. It has to be reconstituted, linking consent with the specific purposes and conditions of information processing. It is a right to determine how, rather than whether, what participates in sharing information. This broader right of informational self determination is intended to give individuals control over every stage of the use of their personal information. This allows the oppressed to control their dialogue and shape their identity rather than having it shaped by others. Thus, recognizing the right to be forgotten allows the oppressed to liberate themselves from by regaining control over their participation in society. The right to be forgotten can also help resist future oppression. Mayor Schomburger, 5. Information ecology is a deliberate regulatory concern of what information can be collected, so unless remembered by whom and for how long. Restricting digital remembering not only ensures against actions of future external barriers, but also protects from a future in which our own society may utilize the information vaults of digital remembering to unduly profile, discriminate, and intimidate those who do not agree with the majority. Collections of personal information are inherently risky because we do not know how they will be utilized in the future. Rules of information ecology are antidotes to such perverse reuse of information. Underview. None must defend a counter advocacy with a test that contains offensive arguments that lead to a standard. The advocacy must be defended unconditionally. A. Reciprocity. Now the advocacy is very reciprocal because it gives Nick burden of proof too. She also has to prove her advocacy is good, and pure truth testing gives Nick infinite assumptions to disprove, whereas I misprove there is true. She has a quality of ground benefit. Forcing offense to link to standard is reciprocal because app offense already only links to a standard. This is a question of actual skew. B. Stable ground. I can't know what I'm arguing against if there is no text to it. She can always sever my arguments if she doesn't defend a text by shifting her advocacy in the NR. C. Turn ground. I can't turn her arguments because she can kick them in the next speech if I win offense. Turn ground is key to fairness because the debater that produces the most offense that outweighs wins, so, limit, limiting, uh, to, so limits access to offense on the theoretical level and gives an advantage, and de scratch strats you. She can defend multiple worlds and scroll in the CP, and I can only go for the one that I undercover most in the, uh, in the AR. Alright, ready for... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's set thesis of the AC. Sure. So, because truth is constructive, we need to incorporate other viewpoints by minimizing oppression. Okay, so it's about incorporating other viewpoints. If we delete things off the internet, then how is that incorporating other viewpoints? Sure. So, when we're deleting this information, it's not so much that we're deleting viewpoints as it is that it's giving the oppressed control over their information. Why? So, so I would argue that the right to not express a certain viewpoint is just as important as the right to express that viewpoint. The marginalized ability to reshape but your identity. But how, how, how are we oppressing people by uh, allowing multiple views <coughs> on the internet? That seems kind of contradictory. No, that's not the argument. The argument is that when the oppressed do not have control over their own information on the internet, the dominant viewpoints of the information rich are likely to be imposed over their Okay, own and a question. And so, uh, you talk a lot about data collection. Who's doing this data collecting? Uh, sorry? The so, you talk about how um, data collection, uh, you talk a lot about like data oh, collection sure. in so, the, uh, how like it uh, never goes away and stuff. Who's doing this data collection? Where is this data collection? Right, in so, the second Schoenberg card. Oh, second Schoenberg. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what specifically talking about is just anyone in general going on the internet and searching for this information about particular individuals, but it could also include uh, governmental surveillance, for example, the argument about the digital panel. Okay, so the, or the uh, topic is about, uh, is directly from, from internet searches. So how do you solve from data that the government collects from people on like websites that has nothing to do with internet searches? Right, so that's the argument I was making before, which is that it's individuals in general, but it could also include the government. So the Mir Schoenberger 4 evidence is specific to how information privacy rights give some degree of control over information, and they at least so give what the individual do you solve some check for? against so the all-powerful state. what do you solve for? I solve for the exclusion of uh, the ability of individuals to shape their own identity on the internet. So, but... How, like, on, on what do you solve for that just on uh, internet searches, or do you also solve like from deleting things off of web pages? Uh, I mean, since the resolution, like, where, where is the app? Like, what does the app world look like? What information are you removing? Okay, I, from defend, where? I defend the text of the resolution, so the right to be forgotten from internet searches. Okay, right, if you want to read like some, so how do you gain how do you gain offense from uh, from like, or how do you solve for data that's that other websites track that's not from an internet search. Okay, so sure, there's not like a hundred percent of the information being removed. However, since internet searches are so is the app only getting rid of things from internet searches. 
Uh, I mean, if that is, like, the text of the reservation is specific to being forgotten from internet searches, so that's always specified, but again, if you want to run some sort of counter plan that's like, we remove data from other things too, I can just perm that. Um, okay, I'm going to start from that. So right for meeting, the order is going to be um, NC, AC, and if there's time, there's going to be like an inherency press, which can, which can just be, actually it's going to be NC, uh, an inherency press, which can be flowed as another off case, and then AC. Also, let me just delete, um, already flashed her, but I'm just going to delete stuff I'm not going to read. So if you want to uh, pull I, up. Oh, do you have my flash drive? Oh, is it still on the flash drive? Sorry. Okay, thanks. So I'll show you which doc. Two reasons. A, free speech necessary for the 
change of ideas, thoughts, not uncover free speech, public goods, and enable members to evaluate and compare their ideas, beliefs, and assumptions, and doing so they are able, uh, able to exchange and correct or on time notions for better or time to attempt any gains they can't believe, even more that they believe the very foundation of their own conflict, the ultimate good desire is better and reached by free ideas, the best truth, uh, the best test of truth is power of thought to get itself accepted, but this combination of the market that truth itself is only grounded upon their wishes that safety can be carried out, and be strong free speech protection to be valued as a check against abuse of power and unscrupulous practices, Larson 2013. Uh, two, free speech is necessary to prevent abuse of, of trust and power that society events and public officials and government robust protections of First Amendment speech and, and press freedom of, uh, freedom of press allows people to report discuss of, of official dereliction without being the system to be no part of the employment decision of official pastor and not the heart of police. These theories of tacit recognition of problems caused by obscurity, key points, difficulties inherent in discovering official wrongdoing and sending information about it to public. This theory can be applied to five individuals as well. There may be any number of reasons why, why one individual needs or wants to know about another from learning about the unscrupulous practices of a local professional and corrective. Uh, corrective Causing like neighborhood watch activities in the nose neighborhood group, and this is the strong internal link to her standard of uh, preventing marginalization. Because uh, contextually, this is the, uh, I'm giving you a, a very clear way of how the government can actually prevent marginalization of groups by spreading freedom of speech. And contextually, one, the right to be forgotten, under right to freedom of speech, eight, the right to be forgotten, creates a legal monopoly within the marketplace of ideas. Larson, marketplace of ideas, there is one matter on all of the notion that what is privacy, and which matters have already been so it's public that theory relies on the premise that the usual constitutional and preferable solution to most problems of offensive speech is not censorship, but more speech, but enforcing the right to be forgotten. Otherwise, the effect of some more speech solutions without sufficient access to the ability to share relevant information that people would be unable to participate in the marketplace or any group of fellows would be speakers refrain from sharing information about some legislatively sanctioned relevant in the marketplace. So, ideas be implementing their two forgotten case of personally embarrassing or harmful information. Otherwise, marketplace ideas by allowing the government to determine what speech is valuable. Larson, a logical corollary in this theory assertion that good ideas and important speech will drastically try to develop or unimportant speech will follow means that legislative uh, recognition of privacy and be a right to, for, uh, to be forgotten new services function of marketplace so ideas of the delegates to lawmakers and ask to decide on what speech is or is not important and beauty legislative assumptions about the Alcock community of information uh, with the power to prevent uh, others from discussing and disseminating that information is incompatible with deciding the values over and above discussion. See the right to be forgotten it's over broad extremes already causing almost random change out of thousands of search results. Washington Post, October 31st, 2014. And three months after the right to be forgotten ruling went to effect rule from 53% take down request on the first update, an additional 50% whatever. After further review, those rules include articles from Guardian about a former British soccer player, a Scottish referee who lied about bringing a penalty, being a BBC article that discussed Maryland, Baker School, and a financial crisis in a report on Daily Mail about an airline that has been accused of racism by a Muslim job applicant, and they proceed despite the fact that the school complaining complain and file regulators in many cases we lack larger factual comics for requests without, which is difficult to balance competing interests. Uh, then on the uh, next off, uh, on the next in common law countries, especially in the U.S., there are already mechanisms in place that both solve for the AC and better respect freedom of speech. A, you can sue an individual for publishing offensive private information so long as it's not related to a legitimate public concern would be offensive to an ordinary person with a statement of torts. Uh, so publicity given to private life, one who uh, gives publicity to a matter concerning the private life is another who <coughs> is subject to liability to the other uh, for invasion of privacy if the matter publicizes that of the kind. A, will be highly offensive to a reasonable person and B, is not legitimate of uh, concern for uh, the public. The restatement clarifies the purpose of the section in common. Every individual some basis life and his activities and some facts about himself that is not uh, exposed to the, that he is not exposed to the public eye. Cut the card there. Uh, uh, and uh, additionally, you can sue individuals for posting information on the internet that represents new and false lights or statement of second rules. One who gives public to a matter concerning another who gives a place uh, before the public eye is false light is subject to liability to other information of his privacy. Uh, and the courts are able to issue injunctions about the publications of torturous material when money damage will not solve problem. This means that they can issue a court to a potential publisher where she may not post material with violence uh, in individual privacy on the internet. For instance, the Michael P. Internet Entertainment Group incorporated the U.S. Uh, the United States District Court for the Central District of California and issued an injunction of publication of a set of a sex tape recorded by celebrities Brad Michaels and Pamela Anderson because it would violate their statutory rights to privacy. All of this means the status quo is preferable because uh so solves the violations of privacy, but simultaneously respects freedom of speech for four reasons. A case brought for force for our professional discriminating judgment based on long established uh, uh precedents rather than free for all underway at Google. Beat Google's not uh, as a Google is not notifying the publisher when it deletes the link, this otherwise the ability to test, take down, protect the publisher's free speech or relevance of information. And see the common law requires courts to be compensated by money to their damages if possible. This means the inflammation when taken off the internet with compensation fails. This solves better than the AC because she only removes links. She doesn't actually remove it. And do the ask box. Uh, okay, uh, now on to the uh, AC. So first, uh, on to the AC. On harbor loss, free speech controls the ability to deliberate because uh, it requires all youth to be included. This means that uh, we'll have a more inaccurate uh, ability to uh, deliberate if we don't include uh, all views. Then on young and bow, more speech solves. That's how we understand other groups, not less speech. If, if groups can explain themselves better, then we're able to better understand them. Then on uh, on Breyer, uh, on Breyer, uh, a dialogue requires speech. The, the very word dialogue means a speech going back and forth. Censorship means two things. One, it's less accurate information, and two, uh, is two, 
necessarily leaving certain ideas out. This uh, this means that my framework controls a strongest internal link to her framework. Uh, uh, okay. Also, uh, uh, then on the uh, then on the standard as a whole, I have you can cross line Lee Larson about how I check uh, government abuse. This from the NC. This means that I have the strong internal link to preventing oppression on Schoenberg. One the uh, on Schoenberg. One loss of control. Uh, turn more speech. Uh, more speech solves because of the fact that we can understand other groups and prevent modulation as long as they can understand themselves better. I mean, they can post a, a response to a, a, a response to an article online where they can better explain themselves if someone says something racist and they can respond why it's racist. That's better. Uh, also, second is that uh, okay, overview of the path detection the fundamental premise of the app that data. Oh, sorry, on the next uh, on the next show, we're the fundamental premise of the app that data on the internet states so this is false. That's majority of information on the internet disappears quickly. But for this, because it's empirical. Ambrose 2012. Privacy squads and race premises that we can be separate from identifying peaceful online information, but information persistent research says otherwise. Colleagues explained the average lifespan of web pages around 100 days in uh, in 2000. They found that 77 percent of call times alive after uh, uh, after a day. However, only 50 percent, uh, 55 percent alive after one day, 41 percent after a week, and 23 percent after. And all this proves a well-established principle that web is ephemeral. Uh, then uh, next on the Schoenberg evidence uh, on the Schoenberg uh, three, there's no chilling effect. You need to circle on the link. I e NSA, NSA surveillance right now. There's no chilling effect. Term censorship means there's gonna be a worse chilling effect. People are gonna be using less internet if they don't trust it. Then a uh, 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 second term uh, terms is uh, removing links from the internet calls attention to them even more. This means that this is gonna uh, lead to uh, this means that censorship is gonna lead people to view these certain web pages way more. And this and this means that an article that someone may not have even cared about in the first place is there's a new article talking about how it's being censored about a certain article. This means it's gonna be far more prevalent. Overview on this page around breaks down very simply. I she has no solvency. Uh, she has no, uh, no solvency, but the the uh, slow solves better because of the tort law without actually harming a free speech and free speech controls the strong internal link to her framework does. So did you read everything on the doc just to clarify? Yeah, I did. It was just out of order. So I read oh, the okay, tour yeah. thing right after I read the um, yeah, no NC. Uh, so where does free speech come from? Like, where does the right to it come from? Um, I would argue, like, I guess free speech would be a civil right. Okay. Um, so what is the, or how is free speech, in, uh, free speech enforced in the stuff? Or how would free speech be enforced in your world? Do you, um, do you just defend like the status quo or? Yeah, I defend the status quo. Okay. Why is uh why is posting on the internet free speech? Uh okay, so like according to the NC, which is based off the marketplace of ideas, any like thing you express is a form of free speech. So if you have like a uh if you have like an article or if uh you post like basically anything online. Okay. Uh, Obviously not like physically speech because you're typing it, but it's still free speech. Okay, how do we uh, weigh between free speech and other rights? Uh, well, I would argue that free speech is probably one of the strongest links to all other fun fundamental rights, i.e. liberty or property, all that depends on first being able to actually like, think freely because our ability to th think freely is contingent upon our our ability to share ideas freely. And so, for instance, you Wait, want why can't, to- Why can't we think freely if we can't share ideas freely? Okay, so uh, it's pretty obvious, for instance, looking at like, Soviet uh, Union, Russia. There was a, there was an absence of a lot of ideologies. So right now, North Korea, a lot this because it's a totalitarian state. They don't know about a lot of other ideologies, which means they can't even think about them because they don't like because they're being censored and they don't even exist in their world. If that makes sense, like okay, without yeah, the speech, they just don't know a lot of, about a lot of different okay, features. Sure, that's, ideas. that's fine. Um, so then, on the inherency argument, can you? Uh, Wait, can you point out where it is in the stock really fast and then uh, walk me through it? Yeah, it's at the bottom. Um, so it starts right here. Okay. So yeah, so basically the uh, first the first part, so there's two parts to tort law, which I bring up. Uh, so one of them is that you can sue individuals for publishing offensive private information as long as it's not related to a legitimate public concern and it would be offensive to an ordinary person. The second is if someone publishes false information. The first thing you can do is sue for financial uh, redress, so if it prevented you from getting a job or something. Then okay. you can you can try to get an injunction, which means this information would be removed from online. I say uh, this where's, is bet, though. Where's the spot? Uh, like where's this law coming from? Is it it's correct? just it torturous law? Or? It's a civil law in the U.S. It's common so law. Yeah, in, okay. in any country with common law, it's just civil okay. Law. Sure. 
Um, so it's like the opposite of criminal versus like. What's the implication of inherency? Is it just that the quo is better? Well, it's saying that, uh, yeah, it's pretty much saying like all the benefits that you have are non unique because I have them as well, but I mean, like, that's oh, why they're better in my world. Yeah. Okay. So is the argument on inherency that making it a civil right makes it harder to uh, censor which cases count as? Wait, what? Or on um, on inherency, or or never mind. I'm just I'm just gonna look at it. Okay. Or actually, I'm going to take a little more prep. Can you point out the numbers to me? Um, 57 is left now. All right, the order is going to be AC uh, inherency or AC NC inherency. <laughs> Without knowing how to determine logical extent, constructivism, truth is direct, modern deliberation, constructivist forms, truth, that's hot rocks, extent, bold, achieving knowledge requires that we hear the perspective of the marginalized, ensuring their standpoints they can't die by others who are occupied, that same point in time, their identity rather than be shaped by dominant groups, they become subjects, not objects. He's going to try and say that when we have free speech, that's the only way that we can incorporate these viewpoints are both, specifically talking about how the dominant viewpoints overwhelm the, uh, the viewpoints of those who are not incorporated. So free speech doesn't solve back to this because those in power get to regulate what free speech is and who gets to ex exercise free speech. The only way that we can ever solve back for free speech is by going, is by looking at my framework first. Then, extend liberation only through liberation of the oppressed by the oppressed can be truly oriented the dialogue of the oppressor best of able to understand their own struggles. They must first use this compression or to restore their their oppressor's lost humanity. That's very, that means any argument should be they're not specific to how the oppressor better able to resist their own oppression <coughs> do not link to the AC extent. The value criteria of empowering the oppressor is a dominant power structure. She says that her, uh, the, uh, she, that speech is all by already answer that. And, uh, the, in order to have dialogue, we need speech, but again, the oppressed or, or the oppressors are able to regulate who gets to 
exercise free speech and able to determine which viewpoints matter. And if they're able to stereotype these certain viewpoints, then the only way we can resist that is by allowing the oppressed to shape their own identity first. Then, on the contention level, on Amber Ups, uh, even, if the internet, even if content is removed from the internet in a certain amount of time, if anyone has access to the internet information within that time, they can still save it forever in some separate place. So that's, that, uh, that doesn't matter. Then on the turn, to, uh, on the turn that uh, she better she better helps the marginalized with free speech extent, Mayor Schomburger won that lost control over personal information, deepens existing power balances between the information rich and poor, and denies people control of their past since digital memory is qualitatively superior to human memory. This means that her arguments about speech don't matter because she's still operating within the system in which, the digi uh, in which there is digital information that's accessible to only a few and that is qualitatively superior so if the oppressor are unable if the oppressor are unable to control their own free flow of information that's uh, by, uh, without being able to, re to remove information that is offensive to them that's always going to be worse for them in the long term because they can't control that so it's said Mayor Schomburg for information privacy rights give individuals control where they use their personal information so they can shape their participation in society this also turns the NC because the only way they can fully shape their participation is if they're able to first uh, uh, to first um, control the ability to express what information Information is on the internet. The right to uh, the right to not have certain information about the available is just as important as the right to express themselves, since uh, since not having certain information is still a form of self-expression. Then on the NC uh, first. Free speech is not an absolute right; it can be weighed against other rights. So there's no reason why the, uh, why this has to come first. And my epistemology is going to be uh, is always going to come first because the only way we can fully incorporate rights to free speech is by allowing the oppressed to uh, reincorporate themselves and marginalize in, in within marginalization. Then uh, on the oh and. Uh, Second, if people use their free speech to impede others' ability to express themselves, for example, the oppressors shaping uh, the oppressed identity by reinforcing these stereotypes, and that's inhibiting their right to free speech, so the right of the oppressed to resist that oppression is going to outweigh because they're uh, in a worse off position in society, so we need to elevate their right to free speech for those with information, uh, with the information which already have this ability. Then, on the uh, and cross uh the mere stronger before that turns the NC. Then, on the inherency arguments, turn, we're looking through the courts, it's always going to be worse for the oppressed because courts are historically, uh, uh, historically involved juries that, are bi that, involve, that can be biased, and so that's going to be worse. Also, turn, it hurts the poor because they can't afford lawyers, so they can't pursue these lawsuits. The only way to solve is by having this be a civil right. Her world only benefits those who already have the power to pursue these lawsuits. Turn, internet, uh, and turn, in countries that don't have common laws, for example, the most oppressive countries like North Korea, they're not going to have the ability to exercise, to uh, pursue these complaints. So we need to extend this to countries that don't have this right. So by having a civil right in those countries, it's always going to be more helpful since they don't have the fundamental legal infrastructure to enforce it then, or to uh, to enforce these uh, court orders then. Um, and yeah, so she's always going to be, so there's always going to be a net benefit to removing some information from the internet because it better helps the oppressed to control what information is available about them and it allows them to circumvent the oppressive structures that exist already. All right, I'm going to start practice. Does anyone have to take a book? Yeah, all right. So, did you read two terms on the tour? Stuff on the tour? Um, three terms. Well, one was that the poor can't afford. Okay. Uh, what was the, the first term was that it's the court system involves, they would have to work through juries, which can often be biased. Okay, cool.
uh, NC torque AC. Uh, I'll just tell you where I go and that's okay. So, oh, uh, wherever it would be most would be probably on the uh, NC framework. Thank you. 
happening to you more because people are going to write articles about things that were taken off the internet. This means that articles that had no attention drawn to them because no one's looking up random articles about uh, about Merrill Lynch banning things now are going to have a lot of attention drawn to them because of the fact uh, because of the fact that they were censored and people write articles about things that were censored. There's also many websites that, that actually collect all the links that things were deleted. This goes completely conceded. This is a damning concession for her. Even if you don't buy any of the offense off the NC or the tort stuff, you can vote very simply of this drop term. Don't let her respond to it. Also, there is weighing done on the chilling effect argument about how and a second term that was dropped about how actually uh, uh, how actually censorship increases the chilling effect. People are going to be less likely to use the internet, and this is uh, and, and also how people are going to be less likely to express themselves because they're going to be afraid. And this, I also non niche her argument about how people don't use the internet now because of the fact that the internet is already being uh, there's already internet surveillance. NSA, it's completely not unique. So the round breaks down very simply. I'd be strongest link to her framework because there's no way we can even have epistemology without accuracy, without facts which come from freedom of speech, or else that these censors just wouldn't be accurate. That makes no sense. The second is that the only way to help marginalized groups is to give them more speech so they can defend themselves, not less, because the people who decide you know, what kind of speech they get is the government. This creates a legal monopoly. I also, uh, coming off the tort stuff, I saw just as well as the NC without compromising free speech. She drops a lot of arguments, including damage. In terms, do not let it come to these in that speech with us again. going to be an overview, and then onto the EC, and I'm just going to sign clicks from there. I'm oh, sorry, the EC, you said? Uh, overview, which you can flow right probably at the top of the EC, and then EC, you sign clicks from there. simply says my opponent and I both agree that the most important issue is incorporating more viewpoints and more voices. However, she says that, so, that the way we do this is through free, free, free speech, but as long as I'm waiting that the government would still be controlling that, but since free speech is a civil right and the government would still be able to place restrictions on who can exercise free speech, that's simply not unique. That means the most important piece of, free, of, uh, of evidence in the framework is going to be the Boswell evidence that talks about how, the only, uh, how we have to achieve knowledge by hearing the perspective of the marginalized and sharing their standpoint they can, they can identify others who occupy that standpoint and define their own identity rather than being defined by dominant groups. This means the most important thing is always going to be incorporating more marginalized groups, so we have to look to the very evidence which goes conceded throughout the ground. So, extend very little says only through liberation of the oppressed by the oppressed can they truly re enter the dialogue and the oppressor best able to understand their own struggles, so they must resist oppression or to restore their and the oppressor's lost humanity. This means if any none of her offense is going to link to the framework because she's not talking about how the oppressor is specifically able to resist their oppression. The only way that we can ever achieve either of these frameworks is the oppressor able to control their ability to uh, to speak freely in society and to participate in society. So as long as I'm waiting some reasons why the oppressor are better able to resist their own oppression as opposed to having the government shape their have shape their resistance through their oppression in the AC world, you can vote for me there. So uh, extend the value criteria by empowering the oppressed to resist your oppression. Remember the responses I made on her framework that free speech is, does not have to be absolute, it can be balanced against other rights, and that since free speech is still going to be a civil right in her world, the government will be regulating it. So this idea of government censorship is just not unique in her turn, doesn't matter because it's not unique. So then, on the contention level, it's a mere Schomburger one that says lost control of her personal information deacons, existing power imbalances between the information which the this denies control of the past and digital memory is qualitatively superior to human, human memory. So as long as, the, uh, as long as people are still able to gather this information, have uh, and, and have it somewhere than they're going to be, it, uh, then they can control not only the present but also the uh, the oppressibility to shape their past. This outweighs on time being because they're controlling uh, the, uh, because they're controlling uh, uh, their ability to shape their identity not just in the present but also in the past. Then. Uh, 
her, she extends the turn about, uh, about people searching the web more for this information, but that doesn't link because very specific, to, uh, that doesn't link to my framework because, because very specific to the oppressed resisting oppression. She doesn't tell how this hurts the, oppre the oppressed ability to shape their own identity, so that doesn't matter. That's just, uh, so. She doesn't link because of Ferret. That's why I didn't respond to the turn. It doesn't matter. Then, on the inherency argument, extend the turn that the poor won't be able to, uh, the, that the poor will be more oppressed in her world because they can't afford to carry out these lawsuits. She says that that's, that's not unique, but in my world, if it's a civil right, then we won't have to go through with all these lawsuits because we'll already be codified for, how, uh, for when this right applies and in what circumstances it applies. So there's no reason why they have to go through with these lawsuits. So there's some net benefit to doing the app. The oppressed will always be at least marginally better off in my world. So as long as I'm marginally increasing their ability to shape participation in society through speech, I'm going to link to either framework and free speech has to be weighed against the right for the oppressed to be able to uh, to, to shape their, into their integration in society, so that's why you're going to burn. Good afternoon.